All right, guys. So as you can probably tell from my voice, I'm not feeling so hot today. But I got a call yesterday from a uh, pilot in an AOG situation at an airport about two hours north of me. They experienced an electrical failure in flight. They said the aircraft had been sitting for about three months before they took it out. They gave it a jump, and then they were not seeing any voltage indicator. It's a Piper PA28R-201. Uh, so it's a retractable gear arrow. Uh, we're gonna head up there, it's 4.30 in the morning. I got a two hour drive and we're gonna see if we can diagnose the problem, get some parts on order for the guy, then head back when the parts come in and hopefully we don't have to do an alternator change because that involves a lot. But whatever happens, you'll be along for the ride. So let's go. After a little over two hours of driving, we are finally here at the airport and we're gonna go try to see if we can find this airplane. The owner said it was parked somewhere near Hangar A to see if anybody is here in the main FBO who can kind of point me in the direction of the aircraft. And uh, we'll get it opened up and see what we can figure out. The saga continues. <clears throat> I get to the airport, it's dark. I'm hoping maybe somebody's at their hangar. I know none of the flight schools or facilities are open right now. And they won't be open for a couple hours. This shows you the importance of communicating with your customer. I was given no information on accessing the airplane other than where it was located. And I'm not badged to be able to access uh, this airport's uh, through the fence areas. So I give the operations manager a call, ask him if there's like a temporary code I can be issued and they say there's no gate codes. So now I'm stuck here waiting another hour. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to build a customer for this. I'm, I'm definitely gonna build a customer for this until the local flight school opens and then I'm gonna have to have them give me access through to the parking so that I can get to work on this aircraft. For now, I'm gonna go get some breakfast and uh, check back later. All right, so we finally got into the aircraft. Started troubleshooting. First thing I did was start with the battery. Everything comes on so far. We'll see if we can continue to narrow down what's going on, check the wires. Nothing seems broken, at least with a visual inspection. So we'll keep at it. Well, guys, I'm actually really terrible at documenting my work, I guess, for YouTube anyway. Ended up putting the battery on a charger. It was dead flat, balanced the cells, threw it back in the airplane, gave it a ground run. Couldn't replicate the owner's in-flight issue as far as power failure, but everything worked fine for me. So I guess it was a two hour trip out and two hour trip back for a couple hour diagnostic. Not a bad day's work, a couple hundred bucks, and I helped out a pilot. Good to go.